Figured I'm gonna put a quick video together for you guys. I got my uh, Testo 510i and I've got my uh, 410i. The 410 is in the truck. I uh, haven't pulled it out of the box yet, but figured perfect uh, start the 510i. I'm gonna get a little bit of a hybrid setup. I was in the supply house today, then they're gonna. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get the uh, current Sporlin Smart Tool or if I'm going to wait till the uh, new one comes out in about two months. But uh, they said they can strike me a good deal. These probes are relatively cheap. Uh, I think I spent uh, about 175 for both uh, these two probes and uh, two uh, 15 microfarad capacitors. So not bad at all. But let me just show you what I got over here. I got one of my, I got uh, in the return. I got another and in the in the supply. Um, my static pressures are as follows with the four inch filter in my supply I'm getting 1.7 my return 0.56 total static 0.72 now that's a little bit of a high for a return so I went ahead and I pulled out this filter which shows mold this was the whole reason that I uh, started indulging in static pressures and um, so my supply dropped by a uh, 0.01 and my return dropped down to 0.4 so that's a pretty significant drop still higher than i'd like the return seems to be a little undersized but we ain't gonna fix everything and my total is 0.57 just show you how i hooked it up i have the uh negative side let's see see that negative in the return and the positive in the supply i happen not to be using the magnetic probes I just poke that right in there like that and I'm using the barb on that side poked in and the reason for doing that is the bag is kind of full at this point um, everything's flying around I got to figure out if I can get the uh, testo to fit in the front of here there should be a little bit of space in there should be able to get the testo to squeeze right in there uh, running out a little room in the bag but anyway Vito's got to start make Vito Propact has to start making a uh, duffel bag carrying up the attics. All jokes aside, that's what I got using the PM sheet. Let me know what you guys think about the static pressure. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to test one of the other units now and uh, continue on this uh, PM. She's a leaker. She's a leaker, mama. That's one for you, Steve. This one's a leaker. Well, anyway, guys, we know this one's a leaker now. Question. Um, this is an Olenex. I saw the uh, liquid line Schrader core oily, removed it, saw some bubbles. So obviously, uh, liquid line Schrader core is leaking. Question is, do I pump the unit down, change Schrader core, and assume that's the only leak or do I sell the customer on a complete leak check? The other question is, um, we had about 125 pounds standing pressure uh, while the unit was running before it kicked off on low pressure. We had uh, 145 on the high side and um, we had 145 on the high side and about 30 on the low side. So what is an indication of how many pounds this unit may be low? And uh, I'm unfamiliar with being able to estimate based off my pressures what, how many pounds I'll have to put in. If it's one or two pounds, I'll go in with R22. If not, we'll do an R407C conversion on this thing. Anyway, let me know. Um, this is what the guy used for a uh, filter dryer. I guess it beats this guy who didn't put one in. No filter dryer in this one. This is uh, for the kitchen. This is the next uh, one we will be working on. It's a little show and tell. We've got some tools rolling out over here, and today we are using the uh, iConnect. That's all for now. On to the next guy. iConnect in all its glory. Uh, I really just, um, I mean, other than it being a great app, it's got a nice feature. I don't have to keep going back into the house to check uh, my relative uh, humidity, dew points, and all that other stuff. I can get my targets without having to go inside the house. This happens to be a TXV, so the targeting is not as crucial for superheat and subcooling, but 
I just towed around the iConnect. It's pretty good. And uh, we're just gonna watch it on this one. I'll insert a screenshot what we look like. Pressures look about fine. And uh, we'll go from there. Just turned on the system anyway, so gonna record some information from my PM sheet. So we're waiting this one out for a little bit. Pressures on the suction side seem to be coming up to around 55. Uh, so target superheat should be around 5 degrees based on indoor conditions. Uh, superheat still around 25, 30. So we're gonna see if that settles out. This one just may be slightly low on gas, maybe a really long line set. Uh, I gotta see what the subcooling is. Cannot view. Uh, I cannot view the gauges and the uh, report at the same time. So I'll take a screenshot when all set and good. The reason for the red X on the left at R22 was due to the probes just getting disconnected. Seems to be that's the issue with the Android, and thus it was making it a, a uh, showing that it was no airflow or not properly ready to be set, but these are the pressure, we may be overcharged.